What the heck? The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. From the back room of Benny's Beanery and Firework Factory in beautiful downtown Burbank. Second. There we go. Hello, <laughs> guys and gals. Uh, anybody hear me? Did, did How's the intro? Did everybody everybody fine and dandy on this wonderful day? I hope so. What day is this? I hope this is working fine, but uh, welcome. I have a, a feed coming. It's going to be 30 seconds difference. Who just showed up? Tom? Tom just showed up? Okay. Hi, Tom. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Tom. Tom Gilbert? All right. Well, who's, who's here? Oh, Tom Gentile. Uh, hi, Tom. How are you? Nice to see you. Hope you like the new intros. It's, it's going to be a great show today. We're looking forward to it. The best show on the internet. That's right. That's what we are. Uh, trying, to, trying to get things going here. Good afternoon, everybody. Who's here? Dan Poof. Jim is here. He's a new guy. Uh, Randy Trent. Randy's here. Randy Trent. Glenn. Oh, yes. Sense of austerity. Well, it's also... If I die, I got something to wear. All right. <laughs> what an intro, huh, Joe? I've been working on stuff here. Glenn with an extra N for for value. <laughs> we have some great stuff today. Hey, this is it. This is it. The Bob Carroll Radio Program live from Facebook. Oh, I'm excited. Wait a minute. I got to get rid of something here. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes? Yes. All right, good. You know, I've just uh, been working like day and night trying to get this uh, whole setup going and working, and hopefully it will. Yes! All right, good. I just, just want to make sure. <laughs> I'm trying, trying, I've got four things going on at once, and I'm telling you, there's like a 30-second uh, thing, so i got to go through here and make sure I get everybody's uh, names. And uh, Oh, I'm telling you, I've died on stage before. It's not pretty. Hey, today's show is brought to you by my favorite people in the entire world, MagicTricks.com, for all your magic needs. Uh, that's right, they ship fast. Free shipping on orders over $30. $5 gift code today from MagicTricks.com. How's everybody doing? I'm glad you're here today. We're going to get on with the show because it's showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't just gave all those intros. So I'm ready to go. If you're ready, I'm ready. I'm with the big show. Here we go. And here I am. That was that fast. <laughs> I'm with the show. We got some questions from yesterday that we didn't use. So we're going to get on with it. Hope you enjoyed the new format. We got some variety of things coming up and all sorts of special things for you to see today. It's not just trivia, man. It's a variety show. <laughs> Commercials and everything. That's right. Nine lives. Hope you enjoy it. I'm working on the new system. It's 30 seconds delay, so it's going to take me a while to get used to uh, seeing myself talk down at the bottom screen. But here is the first question. <laughs> Why I'm using this for a first question, I don't know, but it was left over from yesterday. What's the dumbest... The dumbest animal, dumbest domesticated animal known to man? <laughs> That's the first question, ladies and gentlemen. Howdy, all. Bill Winans is here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for showing up, Bill. Howdy, all. I'm going to play back and see the new intros. I'm so excited about this show today. New, new breath into the show. All right. The dumbest domesticated animal. Don't anybody say husbands. <laughs> All right. Anybody getting this? Let's see. Sheep. Sheep. I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to have to eventually change this over. Cow, human, chicken, fish. All right. Let's see what we got here. 
A worm. I, you know, I don't know if they ever checked the intelligence of a worm. <laughs> I don't think they've even checked the intelligence in Washington, D.C., but you never can tell. All right, so let's see who gets this answer right. Scott Glickman just showed up. Oh, what a day. Isn't this great? We got magic today, magic show, magic tricks, all sorts of things. So, all right. Exactly. Exactly. All right, we got everybody? All right. All right. Ladies and germs, if you said, uh, if you said, where is it? A turkey. A turkey was the right answer. That's the, what they gave me. Not a parakeet. Not a parakeet. Or, <laughs> or what Michael Murth said. Yes, even though I'm going to give him a round of applause for that. It was a turkey. Dumbest domesticated animal in the world. It's hard to believe, isn't it? All right. So if you... <laughs> okay, let's see. Troot. Troot. That's troot. You ain't trooting, baby. All right, let's get on with the next question. I can't wait. This is such an exciting day. Hi, Kathy. Saw your rhubarb food that you had on there. Some gobbledygook. Look good. You're always cooking. Meatloaf sounded good yesterday. So uh, we had peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> Oh, we had, we had some food. Next question. All right, here it is. How long does it take to complete a 15-round boxing match? How long does it take to complete a 15-round boxing match? That's what it says. That's the question. I don't know what the answer is. That's what I'm hoping to... All right, you'll have to come up with something. I thought it was pretty smart myself. The turkey can't be that stupid. He only comes comes out for dinner for like once a year. All right, 45 minutes. Scott Lickman says 45 minutes. Whoever gets it closer, 45 minutes. You wager Jonas's positivity. Positivity. Exactly. It's crazy. Strawberry rhubarb crumble. Look good. Uh, till a knockout. In the 60 minutes, an hour, 90 minutes, 45 Okay. I'm only going by what they tell me here, but uh, you know what? Maybe it's the times out too that you're counting. That could be. They could be counting at timeouts. You know, with in between rounds. That's probably what they're counting. Okay. Let's see if anybody gets it close. Two sets of sounds. You hear two sets of sounds. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I don't know what. Oh, you know why? Probably because uh, my music is on. And uh, no, that can't be. I don't know. Sorry, Joe. Is it? Is it sound really bad? Because how about this? If I don't do that, is it? I don't know. I'm trying to uh, do this for the first time and uh, trying to get all the uh, questions right. But we'll see what happens. All right. Anyway, maybe it's Joe. Maybe you're in stereo. <laughs> Well, you know what it is, too? I don't know. Uh, oh, okay, good now. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Anybody get it? Um, okay, whoever got, let's see. Let's see, I'm going to give it to, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll go back and look. That seems like fair. Because that, that was, yes. Yes, who says this? 90. Randy Trent says, Tom Gentile. Got it. Let's see. Glenn Pierce, Glenn, all right, and uh, 45, 45, 45, 45, 60, 60 minutes, 59 minutes, close enough, 60 minutes is close enough, and that's the right answer, got all the other questions on the back, <laughs> hey, thank you very much for showing up today, it's great, hey, and uh, it's always good to have public service announcements, so, uh, I'm going to get the ready for the... No, you know what I wanted to tell you about? I wanted to tell you about my friend Uncle Floyd. What? Wait a minute, wait. Hey, 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 hey Uncle Floyd. I I didn't sing, hey, hey, Floyd, don't don't interrupt me here. Uncle Floyd is going to be uh, this Friday night at 8 o'clock. He's having a special virtual program. He's going to go through his entire career telling the same jokes over and over that he did when he was back at Castlight Village. So, yes... So you want to hear a song from him? Yes, let's hear this. This is a song from uh, my friend Uncle Floyd. 
uh, many years ago. He had a big hit in uh, Uncle Floyd. There you go. So you want to see a special on him? That's when he was really young. He, he was in uh, Good uh, Good Morning Vietnam with uh, Robin Williams. He was uh, in uh, a show, in a movie with uh, who's the guy? Uh, yes. Anyway. Uh, Crazy people, that's right, with Dudley Moore. He was in a, a lot of uh, good old movies from the past. You want to see him, he's one funny guy. He's been, he was in my wedding. <laughs> so I'm just promoting him. i got to call him later on and tell him what's going on. So Floyd is a nice guy. Hope you get a chance to see him this Friday. And uh, guess what it's time for, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, put on your magic thinking caps because it's time for this. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, Shirley, Shirley, Bo Burley. Banana, banana, Bo Burley. All right. Thank you, Shirley. There you go. Shirley, all right. If you're going to guess the song, you can guess the song or you can guess the artist. All you have to do is listen carefully and tell me who this is. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, there you go. All right, so let's see you dancing. Yeah, that's singing. There you go. Oh, let's see who got this right. Scott Glickman. Uh, it's got some answers. Uh, Scott, it's got uh, that one. Uh, yes, thank you, Bill. Thank you. Production values have gone up. I've been studying very hard, trying to... Let's see, where's Jim? He was the first guy in today. Jim, I forgot where Jim's from. Uh, Joe got the answer, of course. Tom Gentile. Okay, let's see. We're getting all these good points today. And, oh, Jay, Kathy. Oh, thanks for coming in today. Kathy, you're always uh, early today. Very good. I'm oh, always early. You're always uh, making something that looks really good on the Internet. All right. Dan doesn't like spiders and snakes. And Kathy. <laughs> I don't like spiders and snakes either. That was a big hit, I think, in the 70s, wasn't it? It was. It was crazy. No idea, Ed Gardner says. But Jim Stafford, Jim Stafford, let me make sure I got everybody's name and everything, and that's exciting. All right, that's great. I am worried about your discipline problem. All right. Are you insane? I am worried about your discipline problem. I know. Uh, you have a problem with authority. We are in very serious trouble. All right, good. All right. There you go. Let's start the charging admission to this big show. Oh, we got more stuff coming up. We got magic tricks coming up. Don't worry about it. I'm trying to make a good value for your money. You know, all you people are spending hard-earned dollars on this show. I don't like liver and onions. <laughs> Thanks, Red. Oh, I don't like pains and aches. Remember pains and aches? They were a group of the 50s. The comedy team, pains and aches. It was really good. All right, what are we doing here? Next question? Sure. It's 2.15. Let's do a question or two. That would be good. All right. This is, this is the problem. Got too many controls. Here's the next question. What is the state flower of Mississippi? How do you spell it? <laughs> How does the state, the river or the state? Remember that question? What is the state flower of Mississippi? Jeez, I'm kind of in the dark today. I got a dark tie on. Can you see it? Yeah, it's pretty. It's like optical illusion. Looks like I'm really close up. Oh well, here we go. I gotta kind of move this over there. Now I can see all the stuff coming up. Pussy Willow. <laughs> she was in uh, James Bond. <laughs> Remember that, Michael? I think she was in that movie with James Bond. All right. State Flower. Come on, Bill. Come up with a guess, for goodness sakes. I woke up for you. Carnation. Evaporated milk. Exactly. All right. Yes. All right. What do we got here? Anything? Mistletoe. All right. Nobody. What do I do? Call it? Do I have to call it? For goodness sakes, that's crazy. I don't know if I have to. Sunflower. Hi, Jonas. You like the new format? Hope you do. Octopusy willow. <laughs> In all her glory. I know. Crazy, isn't it? Unbelievable. That is crazy. All right. 
Nobody got it? All right, well, hey, I tried. State Flower of Mississippi? I don't know. I don't know. Land of living dreams. All right. I would say Mexico is going to pay for <laughs> Forget it. All right. Morning Glory, Tom Gentile. Magnolias, Magnolia. Yeah, Magnolia. All right, there you go. Magnolia got the answer. <laughs> All right. See, I'm not, get, I'm not getting that jerky movements like I got the last pass. I've got a whole new setup here. It's really good. Uh, Magnolias was the answer. Nobody got that one right. That's the first. All right. All right. Duh. Exactly. Next question. Oh, I love this question. What is, uh, do I have the music? Yes. What is a better known name for John Merrick of Victorian England? That's right. What is a better known name for John Merrick, all right, of Victorian England? We know him, we love him, we can't live without him. John Merrick, okay, from Victorian England or Victorian Pasadena. I've been watching American Idol. Isn't that great? No, it's not a new computer. I just figured out I could do this better. Okay. I've been working on it. It's on a brand new um, system here. The OBS. Uh, operating Broadcasting System or something. All right, what do we got? Jim? Jim, okay. Dan? Dan, thanks for stopping in today. Appreciate it. Oh, Kathy. Kathy's being politically correct. Tom Gentile. When's the next commercial break? You want to say everybody wants commercial breaks. All right. The Pachydermis Man. Oh, Michael is fancy. All right. I'm going to give you two, Michael. I'm going to give you two points just for being creative. All right. And Kathy gets two. American Idol is fixed. <laughs> I was fixed uh, many years ago. All right, Dan, that's right. All right, we got it, we got enough, we got enough answers. Everybody's jumping on the bandwagon here with this Facebook posted and stuff. Ooh, I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's 2.20 in the afternoon. It, oh, Joe came on, finally. Oh, man. It's a great day for America, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming in today. I appreciate it. And, uh, I am not an animal. <laughs> if you said the elephant man, you were right, ladies and gentlemen. The elephant man. Oh, man. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I had my cat fix, too. Now he just stares on the t stands on the TV set and just stares at me. It's really depressing. All right. And my car fixed. Is that the same thing? Is that your trunk or are you just glad to see me? Thank you, Kathy. It's always good to get one of those old jokes from the back. From back, way back in the old days. Okay, next question. It's a beer question. Everybody likes beer. Of course they do. All right. What country is the largest per capita consumer of beer. What country is the largest per capita consumer of beer? And if you even come close, I'll give you the answer. Peanuts for everybody. Peanuts for everybody. Stop in. What country? It's not the United States, by the way. It's someplace in Europe. Uh, the show is going blue. Oh, please, Dan. <laughs> Ireland. Oh, now that's close. Oh, what? Are we, who, wait. Holy mackerel. Okay. When have we got it? Hold on. Oh, man. Scott. Michael. Mirth. Glenn. Sheesh. Belgium. Can only one answer per person, please. I can't keep up with you people. It's not the USA. You get another chance, Kathy. Because I said it's not the USA. I gave you a, a chance. All right. Michael Scott Blickman, Dan Rich. All right. Love the show today. 
Take another shot at it, Kathy. Go ahead. I canceled your answer, and you can have a free choice, free answer. All right. Free on me. No extra charge. All right? All right. Crazy, isn't it? Hey, don't forget to watch Magic Mondays. Magic Mondays starts on Monday. Lately, I've been doing reruns because I'm, <laughs> I'm really busy with this program. I don't have time for making up new Magic Mondays. All right, we got them all? All right, if you said... All right. Aussie? No, it's not. If you said Germany, Germany, you got that answer correct. Germany was the right answer. Yes. Yes. All right, good. I love it. All right, good. We're having a great time today. Oh yeah. Hey, you want to? How many of you want to see a magic trick? Raise your hand. We're gonna. We're gonna. I'm gonna have a friend of mine do a magic trick. All right. It was free. That's right. I give you a free answer. Raise your hand. How many? One, two, three. It's Richie and uh, Kathy and Dan. All right. The, Germany. Robert Hale shows up at the last minute. And all right. <laughs> I'm going to give you a point just for do magic here. Yes, here we go. Here's uh, my friend Pete Monica from MagicTricks.com. No, that's not him. <laughs> yes, but here he is. I'm about to do something amazing. I'm going to read somebody's mind. Hmm, can anybody predict which mind I'm going to read? <laughs> hey, you're not busy, are you? Okay. <laughs> I've made a prediction. A prediction is I know what's going to happen before it happens. Wow. I, I, I just know these things. I, I bet you have premonitions like that. I mean, Sometimes. How many times has your phone rung and you knew there was somebody calling you? Always. When I'm Always calling. something. Always. So, yep. you know? so here's my prediction. On the back of my business card, I wrote the name of a country. Why? Why a country? I have an unusual deck of cards. This deck is called cards of all nations because on the back look at it, it's got the united states with the united states flag there's chile it is chile isn't it and then we have sweden and you're Singapore. you're from holland let's see if we can come up you're not norway no right? no norway Close new zealand oh, no, no no that's no oh hey, nether yeah. okay netherlands would yeah. count right you're mm -hmm. in the netherlands so i'm not going to have you pick a card because you think these you know magicians do this they kind of force a card you can actually, free choice, have anybody call the name of any card whatsoever. So you may concentrate a minute, think of a card you would call out, and you go right ahead. Eight of spades. Eight of spades. And we're going to take, actually, you're going to take out the eight of spades. And on the back of it will be a country. And they're in order, so it's really easy to find the spades and what goes to hearts and so on. So we'll go down to, there's the eight of spades. You may remove that yourself, and you can show the audience what country did you pick. Looks like, what is it? Canada. Oh, Canada. Canada. And what country did I predict on my business card? <laughs> Canada, eh? There you go. Wow. And this is easy to do. The deck is not gimmick. They, they can handle the cards. You saw. All right, I passed the savings on to you. Thanks. Thanks you for letting me. I've got to get a new microphone in here. Wow, speak up. There you go. I'm sorry. I shut the microphone off when Pete was talking. I didn't want to interrupt him. How's things now? Everything good? All right, I hope so. It's sound now, yes. We can't hear you. No sound. We can't hear you. Sound? Is there sound? There is sound. There is sound. Say hello, dummy. Hello, dummy. All right. I'm doing a live camera. Is it working? There. Thank you. Thank you, Rich. I shut the camera off and the microphone off. And, hey, it's my first time. It's my first time doing this, ladies and gentlemen. you got to give me a little credit. I was trying to watch 14 things at once. Back live.
That's right. Here's the next question. What orchestra leader did Doc Severinsen replace on the, <laughs> the Tonight Show? What orchestra leader did Doc Severinsen replace on the Tonight Show? Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Michael, don't don't confuse me. I don't look up. Hey, I don't look at facts. I learned not to look at facts. That's fake news. <laughs> I, I looked at an old trivia card. Jody's falling asleep. Jody, meet Dan. Nan, meet Jody. All right. Okay. Tommy Newsom. It was a room just like this, but it was crowded. Tommy Newsom. Tommy Newsom. To tell the truth, I don't think that's right. <laughs> All right? All right. Say, so, hey, I made a little mistake with my microphone, but everything else is working. I'll have to learn that next time. Make sure the mic comes on. Les Brown. Oh, man. This is an old question. <laughs> Rich is right. What is Rich right? Is Rich, where is Rich? Way up there? There. Let's see. Rich. Tommy Newsom is not right. That's not right. What orchestra leader did Doc Severinsen replace on The Tonight Show? What orchestra leader did Doc Severinsen replace? That's right. If it's good for the president, it's good enough for me. Exactly. Mighty Marty and his dancing bear, Glenn Miller. All right, people. <laughs> all right, all right. What do you think? What do you think? We should call it? Come on, you're gonna you're gonna yell at yourself when you hear the answer. I just know it. Oh, come on. All right. It was it was, ladies and gentlemen, it was Skitch Henderson. Skitch Henderson. Yes. Noopsum was after Doc Severinsen. All right, if you say so. I only go by the trivia questions, but I know that. Uh, Newsom was after Doc Severinsen. Tommy Newsom was sometimes, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to argue with you people. If you want to say that, okay. But that's not the answer I got. You know, this, I'm going to blame Dan. <laughs> For people who don't want pant points or pants. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give the people who said, said Tommy Newsom, Rich says Tommy Newsom, but... I remember Doc Severinsen was the uh, replaced Skitch Henderson, and Skitch was not too happy about it. But Skitch Henderson went to the Gong Show. That's right. He had some work. All right. So are we ready? Ready for the next question? Sure, we are. Who was named the Iron Lady? Who was named the Iron Lady? Hey, I hope you like my friend Pete's trick from magictricks.com. I gotta give him a plug once in a while. That's true. That's right. All right. That's just crazy. All right. Yes, Johnny did make fun of Tommy Newsom. Hello, Joni. All right, Scott Glickman, ladies and gentlemen. Tom Gentile. Robert Hale, these people, dressed as they are from all over America, probably sitting around in their pajamas. Marcos, Joni Riley. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, everybody's doing really good. And I'm sorry about the microphone problems. Hey, it's not too bad for what I've been doing today. I've been trying to get everything ready. Let's see. Um, hi, Joni. Let's see. I'm going to make sure everybody got it. Okay, Bill, 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 oh, where is he? There he is. <laughs> and Joe, and Joe, I got Joe's number here. There you go. And Bill, and I think we got every, oh, look, Iron Maiden from Jonas. Jonas Kane, ladies and gentlemen. He's in the room, and thanks for showing up, Jonas. It's always a pleasure to have you on board here. Exactly, all right. It was Margaret Thatcher, ladies and gentlemen. Margaret Thatcher. All right. 
Oh, now this was a, okay, stop the music, stop the music. This was a, an actual idea that my friend and his, Rich Gilbert, asked for. So this is a question that we're going to do because Rich Gilbert, little Richie Gilbert, wrote in. And here's what he said. <laughs> Dear Mr. Carroll, I'm reading right off the questions. Dear Mr. Carroll, I am a young man in Hatfield, Massachusetts. I'd like to be a magician one day and possibly a short order cook at the Magic Castle. If you could, could you please do a game where we have to guess what celebrities look like when they were little kids? Well, little Richie Gilbert, your wish is my command. It's time, if you're time, uh, I'm time with me time. Are you ready? All right, I'm going to show you. Yes, it was your suggestion. It was your suggestion for this. And it was a great idea, but I didn't know how to pull it off without spending a lot of money. <laughs> Hiring photographers, ink. I had to get more ink for the computer. You want me to just hold up a picture of a celebrity. This is somebody who was in eighth grade. Are you ready? Look at the picture. I'm going to let you look at the picture. Enjoy the picture. And then you have to figure out who it was. One guess per person. Let's go. All right, there he is. All right, eighth grade. He was eighth grade, ladies and gentlemen. And it it is a boy. <laughs> oh, production values are going through the roof. Thank you very much, Glenn. I appreciate it. So there he is. He looks like something from a wanted ad, done. Uh, America's Most Wanted. Oh, there. That's a serial killer if I ever saw it. So I'm glad. <laughs> All right, did you see enough of it? I'm, I'm tired of looking at it myself. But everybody, uh, if you can guess who that is, put your answers down, and uh, away we go with a, another great answer. Let's see who's got it. All right, let's see what we got. We got anybody? All right. All right. All right. Thank you, magictricks.com. All right. Let's see. All right. Mick Jagger, Doug Henning. <laughs> Jagger, all right, Tom Gentile, wow, these people come up with answers, Big Bird, oh, you know, I'm glad that you people are coming into the room, and I hope you like the new format, Joe Piscopo, little Richie Gilbert says, Joe Piscopo, Ed Gardner, wow, you people are going to be talking about this show all night going, wow, what a production value on Facebook, Joni Riley comes in, and says hi. I always appreciate. Thank you, Jody, for showing up. We were talking about you for a couple of days, wondering where you were. I'm glad that you're okay and fine and dandy. Thanks for sending me a message to let me know you're okay, Buddy Gish. All right, everybody, put an answer in. Yes, you did. All right, that's great. Terrific. All right. All right. Stop the music. Stop the music. Stop the music. There you go. If you said, ladies and gentlemen, George Clooney, give yourself a round of applause. That was little George Clooney. Say goodnight, Rich. <laughs> little Rich Gilbert says, I stink at this game. Play something else or I'm going to get out of this room. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you, little Richie Gilbert, uh, eight years old from Hatfield, Massachusetts, where the fun never starts. All right, there we go. This is a game that he asked for. He says, you know, you ought to hold up a picture and have us guess eighth grade. I got some more tomorrow. Please come back. It's going to be a great time. It really is. All right. What's the next question? Look how time is flying, isn't it? It's 237. Oh, man. I'm... Say goodnight, Rich. Who's ahead in this game? Oh, somebody is, but I'm not going to say who. All right. I know it's me. Here's a Michael Mirth question. I don't know why, I just think I just think he's gonna come up with something ridiculous and we're all gonna have to laugh at him. What seasoning is mentioned more than 30 times 
in the bottle, but in the Bible, in the Bible, or in the bottle too, <laughs> or in the can. What seasoning is mentioned more than 30 times in the Bible? All right, this is, you can ask a question, but then how do I know you, you got it right? From now on, you're the little Richie Gilbert. Good night, come on Richie. Rich Gilbert, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a round of applause. Came up with a good idea. All right. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ed Gardner. Robert Hale. Tony, and, and Robert Hale, thank you for uh, messaging me and telling me you like the show. Lot's wife. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Tom Gentile, this is crazy, isn't it? Gish seasoning, the best that money can buy. Gish seasoning, that's crazy, isn't it? That's right, it's unbelievable. All right. All right, if you said salt, <laughs> Salt is the answer. Mrs. Dash was in the Bible 30 times. Lot's wife, Glenn Pierce, got that too. I forgot to write his name down. All right. So right now, at the top of the fifth, the Cardinals, Cardinals are ahead 6-2. to two. And here's some other ball scores. 7-1, 6-3, 4-5, and 7-1. That one was a squeaker. All right. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. But there you go, salt, mentioned 30 times in the Bible. 239, isn't this great? Isn't this fun being together? I'm telling you, I didn't even want to get out of this place. What's the next question? All right, there we go. Next question? Sure, why not? Got any more? Oh, I got a lot of questions I haven't used yet. But, <laughs> oh, let's do the name game. Come on, let's, let's do the name game, really? All right, here we go. All right. All right, stop the music. The All right, let's name, name game. Let's really do it this time. Thank you, Shirley. All right, thank you. There you go. The name game. Now I'm gonna play. We played the name game already, didn't we? But we're gonna play it again because that's how much fun I'm having. All right. So let's see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play a. Ooh, I'm gonna play a game, a song. You have to tell me uh, the group, the group, the group. All I can play. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding you not. I don't want to get the Facebook police. You know, Mark Zuckerman, he's, he's busy in his office somewhere up north of me, somewhere. I don't know where he's, he's holed up under a, a shed. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right. Oh, boy, I'm telling you. Oh, that's that was the love and spoonful. That's right, Scott. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a 30-second delay, so that's a, maybe I'll be good. Okay, Bill Wyatt, ladies and gentlemen, he's still in the room. I can't believe it. Bill's, he didn't go out for dinner yet. <laughs> Tom Gentile. Wow, I'm going to have to come up with some more prizes. $5 gift code to magictricks.com. Joni Riley. I didn't think anybody would get this. Vanilla fudge. I love that stuff. Isn't that great on a Sunday? All right, theory. <laughs> but dead man. Did you ever have to make up your mind? That song goes out to somebody in Washington, D.C. <laughs> All right, I'm not, I don't like to do political jokes because they only get elected. All right, so are we got it? What are we thinking? Well, anything? What do we, what do we say? All right, uh, is that all we got? All right, if you said the love and spoonful, the love and spoonful was it. That's right, friends. All right. All right, thanks, sir, Shirley. There you go, Shirley, Shirley, bold, bold. Hey, Rich, what's for dinner? <laughs> there you go. All right, next question. This is exciting, isn't it? We did that already. All right, so here's the next question. See if you can get it. I'll talk really slow so everybody can get it. That was a love and spoonful. What detective, what detective retired to become a beekeeper? A beekeeper, ladies and gentlemen. What detective retired to become a beekeeper. Those incessant dancers. 
It wasn't, it wasn't easy finding the name game. <laughs> they were actually dancing to a song that she did called the Nitty Gritty or something like that. I don't know what it was. And uh, she, But I said it fit, it worked. I just need a little break. When I do that, I go get some water. Okay, Columbo. Uh, you got a minute? Just last thing. Last thing. Yes, I would too, Michael. That's I get distracted. And then by her older sister, Elliot Ness. What detective? Retired and became a beekeeper. And then a C keeper, and then a D key. He kept all the letters in a nice box and played Scrabble. Columbo, nobody's got this. In real life or in a TV show, in real, well, no, not a, no, I, you know what? I'm not gonna say. <laughs> it was neither, all right? All right, there, Kojak, Elliot Ness. And when I say neither, I mean neither. All right, Mike Hammer, nobody got it? All right, all right, that's crazy, isn't it? Spectre Clouseau. All right, never mind. I'm starting to do uh, puns like Ed Gardner. It's crazy, it really is. All right, let's see, anybody get it? No, that's crazy. Lillian Mannix. <laughs> All right, nobody got it. That's sad, the sad uh, abstain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, he retired and became a beekeeper. That's right. It was Sherlock Holmes. All right. Sherlock Holmes was the answer for all the intellectuals in the room. I didn't read it either. I didn't know anything about it. All I know that I asked... <laughs> Watson asked him what school he went to, and he said, elementary, my dear Watson, elementary. All right. Here we go. Next question. Are you ready? Born on this day in 1941... Uh, she was in Bye Bye Birdie, Pocket Full of Miracles. She was chosen to perform with Elvis Presley in one of his movies. She's almost 80 years old. Voted one of the most sexiest women in America in 1995. Yes, fictional detective. That's right. All right. You said that? All right, Jim, I'm going to write you down because you have three points. All right. Sometimes these things fly by me so fast. Kojak, Elliot Net. I'm not going to argue with it. Columbo. <laughs> I'll look again. It does, uh, yes, Holmes, you did say it. I thought you meant Katie Holmes. <laughs> and it's these. The, all right. Betty White, Shirley Jones, Joni Riley. What do we got? Tom, okay, let me start from the beginning. All right, jeez. Isn't that crazy? Where's Scott? There he is. Scott. And and Margaret Jim says. Alright, let's see. Betty White. Robert Hale comes up with the answers. Pretty good. Eddie Gardner. Ed Gardner. How's things with you, Ed? Good? Joe? Joe's doing good. And let's see. I feel like I won an Oscar. Mom's Mabley and Mob's Epsom, uh, Epsom Salts. Remember Epsom Salts? He was, uh, <laughs> he was good. If you said, oh man, and Margaret, and Margaret, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, one of my favorite actresses, and Margaret. And she was married until uh, he passed away in 2016, Roger Smith, who was in uh, one of those old shows. I think it was. Uh, 77 Sunset Strip, or one of those. He was in with Ephraim Embliss. <laughs> I can't even say it. You know, Ephraim Zimbliss Jr. There. It's not easy to say. I don't know how he got to be famous. Anne Margaret Olson. On this day in history, she was born in 1941. Oh, it's 247. Oh, yeah, this is great, isn't it? All right. So what do we do now? I know. You know what? Let's have a commercial. Yep. <laughs> And Be sure and remember what Bert the Turtle just did, friends, because every one of us must remember to do the same thing. That's what this film is all about. Duck and cover. Paul and Patty know this. No matter where they go or what they do, 
they always try to remember what to do if the atom bomb explodes right then. It's a bomb, duck and cover. Sundays, holidays, vacation time, we must be ready every day, all the time, to do the right thing if the atomic bomb explodes. Duck and cover. And cover. That's the first thing to do. Duck and cover. And cover. First, you duck. duck. And then, and you cover. cover. You duck and duck. cover tight. And duck cover. and cover under the table. Duck. It's a bomb. And duck cover. and cover. He did what we all must learn to do. You. And you. And you. And you. Duck. And cover. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> all right. I just did that for a reason. Why? Yes, yeah, right. Isn't that crazy? She was in carnal knowledge, yes, sir. She also uh, on the in the Flintstones. That's right. See, I get I play that so I can uh, look at the scores, which now I can look at it. I don't have to put my head down and go. I'll be right back while I put. The... I check the scores. We got a three-way tie. It's never happened in the history of the entire world. Well, since I've been doing this show, uh, would have been dropped in, locked in here. By the way, I don't know if anybody else looked this up, but I did yesterday. The word virus. In Latin means we have no idea what the thing is. It's basically <laughs> virus means we have no idea. Uh, it's some disease. It could have it. You don't have it. You might have a symptom. You might not have a symptom. Stay in. Stay out. We don't want you to go anywhere. Anyway, that's the whole thing. Three-way tie. Yes. Can you imagine that duck and cover pulling right, at, trying to pull that stunt off today and say? And I'm thinking to myself, those people cover themselves up with coats. And I'm going, that stuff must wear like iron. <laughs> Same with the desks. <laughs> or, you know, that one, that one guy just at a picnic, he fell over right next to the fireplace. Uh, <laughs> could have burned himself. That's just unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Duck and cover. All right, let's do another question. And then we're going to do our magic trick of the day. And we're going to see if we can beat this tie. Woo! Gloversville High Latin Club. That's right. <laughs> All right. I was going to read the same question I read before. It would have been a lot easier, wouldn't it? All right. All right, here's the next question. Who... <laughs> I don't even want to say this. All right, but here it is. Who laid the cornerstone in the U.S. Capitol? <laughs> Who laid the cornerstone in the U.S. Capitol? <laughs> Start to be, Dan saying, now who's blue? Now who's doing blue material? Admiral Byrd. Oh, sorry, Kathy, you're sitting cold. That's good. You can play it later on and laugh. All right. All right. Thomas Jefferson. Tom says. All right. Rocky, who played? <laughs> who did this? Who did this? Uh, okay. All right. Who laid the cornerstone? Uh, the, who did? Okay. <laughs> In the U.S. Capitol. I know, Rich, I know. A little Rich Gilbert. Ah, uh, the Czech, right. Adams, the Adams family. Jonas, good to see you, Jonas. Got to get together again, do a little talking. All right, all right, let's see what we got here. Anybody else? Anybody else come up with them? Oh, no, but we do have, uh, ooh, crazy. All right. All right, 252, 252, I'm going to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to kind of give you another answer. Here's the uh, next question. What U.S. poet penned candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker? <laughs> what U.S. poet penned candy is dandy, but liquor <laughs> is quicker? Hey, everybody's over 18 in here. There's never been any younger kids in this room, so, you know. 
I don't even, I don't even, you know, it's, it's Danny sends me all these smutty trivia questions. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Dan. I'm only kidding. It's really crazy, isn't it? All right. All right. Tune in tomorrow. We're going to have some more magic tricks, more fun, more uh, new games that we had, didn't have before. W.C. Fields, what poet penned that? All right. Bill Winans. Bill, okay. Scott Glickman. Uh-oh. All right. All right. Way over 18. Oh, stop it, Dan. Please. Rich is... All right. W.C. Fields, Team Wildest. Anybody else? All right, let's see what else we got here. Anybody? All right. Mo Howard. Slightly. <laughs> you know, I hope you enjoyed the show today. It was a little different, wasn't it? Something It made the time go by a lot faster for me. Because I don't have to, you know, work that hard. <laughs> I had a fun time. I couldn't wait to get in here today. It was, And I can't wait to get here tomorrow. Or the next day or the next day. I, I am tired of... Uh, not being able to go anywhere, but hey, that's the price you have to pay for freedom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did anybody get this? Yes. If you said uh, Ogden Nash, you were absolutely right. I'm a poet and I don't know it. Ogden Nash, ladies and gentlemen, 254. All right. Hey, how about this? We're going to close, uh, close out the show. I'm going to come up with a winner because we do have a winner. Uh, we have a tie. Let me see here. No, we don't. Oh, we do. We have a tie, but I'm going to give it to the person who hasn't won in quite a while. So do I have anything? Why, yes, I do, ladies and gentlemen. What could it be? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, give him a round of applause. And uh, here he is, your friend and his. Uh, um, who is it? Who won? Scott Glickman, ladies and gentlemen. Scott Glickman won today. Unbelievable. Scott Glickman is going to get a $5 uh, gift card, gift code from magictricks.com. Magictricks.com for the best ever uh, magic tricks. There we go. Great. Join Bob Carroll next time for more trivia on Facebook. I know, no sound. I'm trying to my best, I'm sorry. I, you know, it's like, turn the mic on, I turn the mic off, it's fine. I'm gonna give it to, I'm gonna give it to uh, Tom Gentile, because Joe won, um, who was Scott's one before, Tom Gentile, he was seven, they had a score of eight and eight. You know, next time I'll just pull a name out of the hat. Points don't really matter here, but, but I had a great time. Hope you did too. And be good to one another, and most important of all, be good to your neighbors. You know, really. I mean, I'm trying to be good to my neighbors. 
but uh, what else? You know, the prizes. I did. I gave the second place. It's going to be uh, Tom Gentile. Okay? I'm going to fire the sound man. Bill, it's not easy doing all this stuff. There you go. There you go. It's all the bells and all the whistles and everything you could possibly uh, imagine. They're all here. I know it's working. It's 30 second delay. Doing my best. Until next time, America. It's always a pleasure. Trent must be working. All right. There are too many buttons. All right, fine. You know, I hope you had a good time. I had a wonderful hour today. It's like doing a television show. Until next time, have a good day. Hope to see you soon. This is Dick Clark signing off. Happy New Year, everybody. What? everybody what <laughs> the hat's a little crooked <laughs> where's my head what a <laughs> thank you uh, till next time same time same station it's uh your favorite buddy good old bob i appreciate it and thanks for stopping in each and every day it's always a pleasure I'll get better at this new thing, but hey, it was good for the first time out. Thanks for watching. Till next time, save your pennies. We're going to go to the casino when they open. All right, very good. Uh. <laughs> uh. This has been a Film's Way presentation. Thank you.